welcome back everybody. Welcome back to the Malfa project. Ah, it has been some time, hasn't it? So uh today um yeah, we're going to be working on uh, <coughs> fixing the damn thing with the tree pot and then, you know, build some more leaves in so that I can get everything up and running properly. Um why uh it has been some take some time because well, you know, I was sick to the max, so uh <laughs> Don't want to hold that up or running. I just make sure that everything is working fine. So it did, and I forgot to put the layer down. So oops, sorry. A little bit inconvenient here. The duckers need to be rowing. And this one needs to go away. This one. Um. Um. I don't need the. Uh, which one do I not need? Ah, this one only. Yeah. All right. So, um, as you can see, I have now everything that I need, and I can just, you know, casually just do this again, and then everything works fine. So, uh, the idea here is that we're going to add some um, drawing right here, so we're going to remove this uh, this, uh, this little bit, and we're going to uh, give this a little bit more of a shape towards it once we add the rest of the... Uh, fine grass towards it so that you know the the tree is filling up well at least that's the idea of it um, so as you can see um, uh, where is it where is it where is it um, there it is so if we look at the tree right now uh, we still need this one right here to this one right here and then we need one more here and then we can finally then make this tree part a little bit more better. So that's where I'm now aiming at uh, today. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, um, I want this to be on the top side view. So I should definitely put this in the, because this one is the bottom part, interesting. Um, if I remove this, then this will all go away. That's not good. So if I get this one, then that's a tree. Then we need to get over. Mm, this one needs to be then cut down, and then yes. All right. So we need we need to make another one right here. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. We need to have another one right here, and that one needs to be behind this one but before this one so we need to put it right there all right group uh let's see how much we need we need one two layers two layers all right so uh as done before uh i need to i need to uh, i need to get rid of this so that i know what what, what i need to do and then we can just you know uh see like ah well this is the co uh, this is the drawing. Of course, this is the drawing, and uh, we can now see like well, since we need this right here, right? Yeah, we need this right here. We can move this upwards so that we know then uh, so that you know we can still use the coloring of it. And we can now see like ah well, how do we do this? Well, we're gonna uh, give this part right here a little bit of a uh, shape. So, uh, first things first, we need to go back to the pencil, uh, pencil 2, and we need to lower the size back to 3.6. And we're going to be drawing here. Um, so, let's not further ado, let's get started. So, what I want to do with this thing is that I want to have this right so that it is looking fine. And we want this to be like in situated. Yeah, black is fully done. All right. So we want this to be like so. Like, uh, we, yeah. Let's go for that. So we want this to be like this, and then there you go, hanging. And then go down here with. The things so we want this to be hanging part and we want this to be like this all right so like this it should be right 
Yeah, I could do that. All right. Um, now, since I'm really doing this, we're gonna do this casually, slowly, and steadily because we need to know. We we still want to make sure that this is working well. So, what is the main problem with today? Um, is that I'm still, you know. Uh, a little bit recovering, but you know it's all fine now. It's it's almost like I'm fully done. It's just that it's uh, sometimes a little bit uh, hard, you know, to realize like, oh well, um, I am here now, and uh, what do I need to do? Well, I don't know. Something at least. So yeah, I'm gonna be adding the uh, grass towards it. Oh well, you know the leaves. Let's put it that way. It is leaves, so therefore it should be called leaves. And the idea here is that we're just gonna add the parts that we need, and then, you know, once we're done, so there is gonna be like, there is gonna be like here, over here, is gonna be something. And I'm gonna be adding this, like so, so I can remove later on. Yep. And uh, once this is all done, you know. Uh, this year I'm gonna go to uh, a convention again on 3D printers and all that stuff. And I'm hoping that they have another tablet so I can then finally get an appointment to get a better tablet out. Because, you know, this tablet is all fun and games, but, you know, it's not the professional one. It's like the 700 euro one, and eh, I think I can handle the professional one now. With all the stuff I did. So, yeah. Um, I need some hard lines here, um, right here I want one, so that I know that, you know, this, this is going to be a bit, here is going to be a bit, I want to know where, where, you know, the line drawing is going to be, so right here needs to be a bit. that so that I have like you know the, the way of doing things and I should get a cleaning cleaning little thing because looks like I have not cleaned it up for quite a while already and I need it right here yes so this thing is gonna be going like that and right here yes 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 and right there all right should definitely remove this to 10. Now we can start with the drawing itself. So we should definitely remove this part right here because we don't want that just yet. So what we're going to do is just casually draw the lines that we need and then, you know, fill up the bits that have been done. Like we did with the, right, oh, with the, one, uh, with the last one. And, you know, eventually we're going to get the full picture of this and then, you know, we're going to color it and do all the lovely stuff with it. But right now we just need to focus on drawing the uh, actual, you know, lines that need to be drawn first. Um, but yeah, it has been some time. Um, I'm now back into upscheduling uh, everything that I have been left behind because, well, you know, being sick for one week is like, ah, well, the whole schedule just got ruined. And, um, yeah, um, luckily, you know, um, I already uh, started earlier than, uh, uh, I'm already started earlier than before, so therefore, you know, the drawing I have been working on for Feb for in February is probably gonna be, you know, not delayed too much because well, you know, I started earlier with the drawing concept, so I do have some special time with oh well, some sp some time left with it to make sure that you know everything is working fine. So yeah, um. As you probably already noticed, my head just got a little bit of a bum down because, well, you know, I did a lot of things today. I actually worked for the first time again in a week. And that is uh, a lot to handle because, you know, a lot of things that happened. A lot of things happened, like 
the train didn't work quite well in the in on, at the end of the day so I was like you know very frustrated and uh, I got tired of it I got really tired because of it and uh, you know it shows off now because well you know I'm in a resting period of you know just drawing therefore you know my mind is coming to rest therefore all the things that have been done before you know needs a rest and I mean really it, it's it's quite nice to have something like this going on anyway you know keeping up with the drawing keeping up with the with the drawing itself it's it it relaxes the mind and it uh, gives a lot more satisfaction uh, for me at least to know now that you know I'm working on it again because you know I was like oof how will I ever do this how will I ever get the drawing correctly and how do I would get this leaf leaves to work well I have been looking at some trees and I'm like yeah th these ways of doing the trees is probably the right way to do it but I'm not good at it so I will rather go for the approach that you know back in the day works when you are trying to draw trees in a 2d environment with like you know Zudaku and all that stuff those trees and uh what I'm now doing is actually using basic trees instead of, you know, the very complicated trees. No, this is actually quite basic. It's like, um, you have like these leaves and then you blur the leaves out so that you leave the posture behind. And then that's the tree leaves. And it works, it works, but, you know, it takes some time to fully do it correctly. And what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to use this tree part of this. I'm going to use this part to fill up the bits that need to be done so that, you know, this is going to be looking ni like a nice tree. This is going to be looking like a real blushed out tree. It's going to be uh, more uh, lush than, than it was before. Of course, it's going to have the same effect still running. But, yeah, it's going to be looking more lush. And I'm using the sketch to decide which kind of shape I want with it. Of course, you know, the shapes that I get are not always the same. Because that happens. Mm, I actually want here something more. Yeah, there you go. I want some action. There you go. And why do I want to do this is because, you know, giving some variety in the tree itself creates the pattern that you want. Because not every tree has the same, uh, and um, not every tree has the same variety in the texture itself. And by creating this effect that, you know, uh, uh, that needs to be shown, it needs to be having some variety in it. So therefore, you know. That's why I'm actually using this right now. Normally I would stay to the same pattern all the time, but you know, if you're using the same pattern over and over and over again, it gets really boring. Uh, and uh, that is the thing that I don't want. I mean, really, it's it's not very healthy. For the drawing, that is. Yeah, for me, it's not really a problem, but I'm like, I know that I I know that I need to do something. And I know that I need to do it quickly because otherwise you know things might go out of hand like for instance here I'm drawing the uh, the, the leaves a little bit more uh, closer together instead of you know very lush it's because you know I know that these trees are a little bit more back instead of in the front so therefore you know giving already a little bit of a spec, uh, spec a sp uh, perspective is a uh, is a really good thing to do because it is, since you're giving a little bit of a spec, uh, uh, a little bit of a yeah, perspective, it actually uh, gives the feeling of leaves, and uh, that's also very important. You want to see the leaves, you want to feel the leaves, you want to see that the leaves are real. You want to know that the tree leaves are a thing. Even though they might, you know, be overshadowed by all the texture that is in around and around and in the in the drawing itself, 
you still want to have that special feeling of like, I am looking at a tree and I see leaves. Nice, you know? A little bit of thing that, you know, normally doesn't see much. If you look at a if you look at a tree sometimes, you know, in a drawing, you you see only like this. There's a tree that's in the drawing. And it's in a water-based drawing, so you have this tree and then this is one tree and then you have another tree right there and that's also going to be like drawn like this and then you have the pine trees. That that's how the pine trees work. And you know, that works in long distances. Uh, you also you have like these trees. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Mm -hmm. These trees also work really well in uh, long distance. But I don't want the long distance tree. I want to have a close, close tree. I want to have a tree that is close to me. But they might look you know it's it's very hard to create leaves in a close-up tree because of the texture that the tree leaves have and i think right now what i'm doing is already a lot compared to normal people would do like um they would probably you know create a tree leaves that mm, might look a little bit out of shape or you know not be there at all they just use the coloration to represent the tree leaves and then just draw like this and I'm like nah that looks too smushy it looks too snotty and and I don't want that so therefore you know I create these leaves I create these leaves to create a less gooey feeling which uh, is important because you know you don't want you don't want to have goo you don't want to have trees that are just you know mashes of goo sticked upon each other because you know you want them to feel natural you want to feel them you want to make sure that they feel like they are trees duh but that dying is a uh, is a thing that might not not or not or can be overseen and uh overseeing things always happens don't get me wrong there i did some practicing with uh drawing again uh today at uh, you know at at a break at my uh, when I went to, to work and I was like yeah um this is a drawing all right and I was like oh my god oh my god this is horrible and then I did it three times more and then suddenly it turned out way 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 better even though you know there are still some mistakes in it you know still not yet fully good but it's getting better, so eh. But yeah, it's it's important that you understand the meaning of what and how things go and go around. For instance, I know now that you know uh, if you have hair, it's very important that how you position the hair and where you and how you draw the hair itself. The main problem with my, my problem is that how I position the hair is always wrong because it looks like you know it's just a uh how do you say that a fake hair yeah it's a fake hair I'll, I'll put it that way I don't know the name just yet but yeah it's uh it's like somebody put on fake hair and it's a thing that you don't want to have. You want to feel it natural. Therefore, you know, you need to figure out, like, how do I get this to be looking natural towards them? And that was like a big, giant uh, brain look into uh, how I draw. And eventually, you know, I fixed it. But that's eventually. Of course, you know, on, uh, it, on the spot, it's very hard. But you need to look at things and you, you need to do some research. So I did that, you know, at my break. And uh, I was like, oh, well, if I do this and that and I will use this kind of technique, then, well, you know, it looks almost, you know, much more natural towards it. And eventually I got the right way. So I'm very happy upon that. Of course, you know, the main issue here is that all these uh, leaves, for instance here, 
they might not look natural uh, right now because you know they're not called in but once you know the coloration is coming in then you know all this stuff will be lighting up like a like a Christmas tree for Christmas nah that's too Christmasly now I would say it's a Christmas tree for uh, for Easter there you go because you know that's how most trees work they they are terrible at looking at if you close up too much because then you can see that they are just strokes and that's not that's not a real bad thing it's not a good thing but it's not a bad thing either now oh boy I need to do more sharper turns yes I do 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 her oh boy um come on I have a little problem here that needs to be solved quickly. I don't want them to be pointy pointy, but I don't want them to be flat as well. That's the main problem. And the main reason why I don't want that is because then they have the bird texture and I don't want them to re resemble the bird texture at all. Alright. This part. Now we should definitely move to this part right here and get this thing up and running. So yeah, it's it's very important that we keep with the texture that we had before and keep on with all the stuff that we had and as you can see I have a little bit of trouble with keeping the hand away from the button that is on the pencil it's sometimes a bit difficult but uh, oh well but yeah very important. Why is this not touching? Hmm. All right, strange PC, please. Ah. I needed some progress or pro process, so that explains it. Still though, very nine. All right, now we're gonna go whoop de daisy do, and we're gonna go like this. And then we have like these things. So now it should go this one fill up these ones as well because otherwise you know things might look a little bit out of strange There you go. 
There you go. It's quite easy to do, but sometimes a little bit difficult to get the right amount of, you know, lines in there. And what we're now doing is actually just filling up the whole emptying from line to line. Of course, we don't want to have everything the same, but we do want to have, like, you know, these lines that represent texture around it. But yeah, I'm very happy upon uh, how far we're already at, at now and uh, how much we did. Even though, you know, we started with one week of, you know, totally not working on it. Which means that, you know, the drawback was that, you know, the, the texture that I'm normally using is a little bit gone. But it's getting back again, which is good. And I must say, I'm very happy that, you know, all of this is turning out great and fi fine in most cases. Uh, definitely, you know, next time when I try to do this, such kind of projects, I will definitely use some different kind of technique on um, getting from point A to point B. But when, you know, you do your live streams, it's, it's always, you know, slow. Because who wants to... Oh, who wants to uh, who wants to see a g uh, who wants to see like you know a place where everything is you know just just there to be oh well who wants to see something that you know is unfinished and unpolished it's it's uh, it's not very nice you know having a thing that is only un that's very unpolished and almost you know forgettable is yeah, it's not my style. I like to put my love into uh, into my work, in most cases. And the more love I put into it, the better it gets. So, you got that up and running. Then I also need to do, you know, the things that I need to do before February. Even though it might have a chance that it doesn't even go through, because apparently there is a new lockdown coming in. Which is a dick move, but uh, yeah, let's let's hope that in February everything is gonna go fine. So uh, yeah, kind of do that. So working on a drawing, getting all the stuff done for February, and if February is gonna be you know not be February, then uh, I hope it's gonna be moved to August or something. That would be lovely too. So now we can take a look at it, and you can see like, yeah, this is much better. And we can remove the thing that we don't want, which is the double lines. And now we can add the coloring in from the other one. So we're going to remove this, and we can see now the coloring. Whoa, ow, ee, ooh. Very spooky indeed. Now, well, first thing we do is pick up the... Uh, basic color which is uh, apparently it's this one right here and we're gonna add that to the line that we need to draw so this one so we're gonna add the basic line towards it so we're gonna add the basic line right there that's the basic line if I believe All right yeah it's the basic line. Uh, let's see if there is any... I think this is even better basic line. Probably I picked up a, a little bit too dark color. Alright. Now, since that we have this, we can now add the... We can now remove the parts that we don't need. 
and this is where you know the little bit of uh, this is where the light bit of size is coming into play because we don't want all of it to be removed we just want to have the bits removed where you know they don't touch the object So uh, yep, there you go. All right, because technically, if I remove this part right here, then that should also work. I don't know, maybe. It's a little bit hard sometimes this of guessing where where do the lines need to be drawn. And we're just casually you now moving on, getting the next part up and running. And you know, coloring it's it's not my strongest suit. I'll, I'll admit it. It's uh, it's one of those things that you know I did not even do back in uh, two two years ago. So it's still a learning curve, but you know the more I do it, the better I get at it. The better I get at it, the better you know the drawings are going to be looking like. And the more you do, the better you know your art style is going to be developed anyway. I'm very fond of that. So, as you can see, um, we're getting towards the point where we need to do the coloring more intensively, I believe. Yep, we do. So, we're almost at the point where we need to do it. So uh, I'm going to switch to another brush. I'm going to switch to this brush right here. And we're going to pick up a cool light color. So we're going to pick up a color that is light. This one right here. And we're going to add the color that we need to the light part. So first things first, we're going to need to see if this is the way of doing it. Or do I need to do another layer? Um, I'm gonna put it on 75 then, instead. Alright, so what we want is actually, we want right here, we want some light, lighter colors. We want right here, we want some lighter colors. And then we want some lighter colors over here as well. Because this is a representation of, you know, that the, the things are lush and green. Then, of course, we also want some dark colors into it. Oh, yes, very spooky. So we want some darker colors here as well. So we're going to put some darker colors down here a bit. We want some darker colors right here. So that, you know, we have some kind of effect that goes on. And uh, then we're going to use a blur, uh, a blur tool to get all the stuff a little bit more fused up so that you know it looks a little more natural just like that and now we actually have it all right awesome Yes, all right. 
Now we have this. We have now one of these. We have one of these and we have the other one. As you can see, I did some mistake with the coloring. Oh well. Now, since we need this, uh, we need now a blur. Uh, so we want a blur on the line art and not on the drawing itself. So we want to have a filter mask. And we want a blur. It doesn't matter how much. So now we have a blur here and we have a blur here, as you can see. Now we want this to properties and we want this to be set to one I believe then right yes one and then now is gonna be the hardest part of my entire thing and that's gonna be deciding where where not the blur is gonna be so we don't want all of it to be realized so we want this to be a little bit more realized and we want this to be a little bit realized but we don't want it all to be realized we want some eye-catching moments but not all of it so something like this and then you know use the blur and use the merge tool to combine the both with each other so that you know we still have the blur but we don't have the blur too much all right now we need to actually remove the uh, uh, we need to now remove this one. No, not that one. This one. Yes, this one. We need to remove. We need to remove some lines here and there. Ah, all right. So where's that blur then? Hmm. Where did I put the blur here then? Is it blur group then? No. Can't be. Oh, there it is. Alright, now we need to remove some lines because, well, you know, we have lines and we need to remove these. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for the smooth lines so that, you know, we don't erupt all of it in such a way that, you know, it's disturbed to view at or look at. So, yeah. It's nice to see that, you know, the trees work well as it should be and how the trees work. And. Uh, by the looks of this, we can then, you know, implement like, ah, well, how do we want to get the tree from point A to point B? And where do we need to look then at if we want to have like a blur effect on both of the trees? Because, you know, we don't want to have the full visible effect on it. So once we have the blur tool on it, we can now see like, yeah, this is a tree. We have a blur on this, but we also have a blur on this. So where do we want to remove that blood now? That's the question. Well, I know that I we know that you know we want to have this outlook a little bit looked up to. So we now need to clear up a little bit of this blur right here and get it a little bit up into you know the drawing. So we want this to be a little bit up in the drawing so that you know we have some resemblance. Of course, we don't want too much, but we do want to have some of it. All right, and then we still need to remove some of the lines here and there. There you go. All right, so now we have the line right here that represents the tree. We can see the tree, we can know the tree, we can see what the tree looks like. Now we can also see that we made a mistake in the auto drawing. This time it's not on the this time it's not on the drawing itself, but it's uh, well it's not on the drawing itself on the lines, but it's the stick it's some of the thick thickness that needs to be removed. Because if we keep it too much, the drawing will be uh, too heavy to look at, so we don't want that. 
and now we removed it. So there you go. Now we have a tree that looks like a tree and acts like a tree. We can see that you know this this blush of uh, this blush, this plum, this plummet does give a little bit of effect to it. And we can see now that we actually need some more colors into it because holy hell, this is actually ugly looking. So we're gonna pick up the color that we need. That is this one right here, and we're gonna add some stuff to it because that's the thing. And why do we want that? Because technically this right here needs a little bit more, um, you know, lighting up. Needs a little bit more cheerful lighting up too, because you know it's a tree. It's a it's a it's a full autumn, and uh, we do want to have some resemblance of well, full full no nah, not nah, full spring still, but yeah, autumn spring. I don't know, something in that direction. But we do want to have that re resemblance to that the tree does look natural, and we can toy around a little bit, you know, add some more colors to it, add some more colors to it, so that you know it it springs alive. And then we can just, you know, use the blur tool to give the tree more representation of it. And you can see now already, like, yeah, that, that looks nice. But, oop. Don't move. Otherwise it might not load in. There you go. And I'm going to save before uh, anything else is going to be exploding in my face. Uh, don't want that to happen. You know, we don't want to have this solid recreation to be ruined by anything else so now we need to like figure out like ah oh, well where do we want to have some nice little edges that might might need some cur uh, might need some uh, shading so there you go we're gonna do that and then we're gonna implement that again in there and so now this actually looks so much more better and now we need to actually remove some of the lighting over there, so we're gonna do that again. Uh, I want none there, no lighting there, and then that should be it, right? That should be it. Uh, a little bit lighting then, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. Turn little sparkles. All right. Now that's so much better. So now you can see, uh, blech, you can see that, you know, we do have, you know, a tree that looks, a tree that looks, you know, quite detailed, but not detailed enough to um, bring the eye fully to uh, satisfaction. So if we now add the bird, which you do need to do, there you go, the bird. You can now see that the bird is there. All right, the bird is there, and you know the the the, the drawing. It calls. Yes, it calls. It 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 does give the feeling of uh, leaves to it. I notice now that the shading here is a little bit iffy, but we can fix that. So the tree, the bird is here. We have the tree, and we have also a second part of the tree. So if we then now remove the drawing here, you can now see that you know the bird. It already looks so much more like a tree than before, which is important. Now the only thing we now need to do is actually making sure that the tree is represented correctly. So we now need to get the um, uh, the drawing in the drawing in there. So we want to uh, maybe l make the bird less big. Probably, so that you know we can see the le uh, we can see the tree connection. I'm not sure about that, so I'm gonna save this, and then you know, uh, tomorrow we will fix the uh, issue with the lighting in the first tree branch uh, in the first leaf a uh, a bunch, and then we're gonna save this under a different name, Hogmoth Two, of course, and uh, what we're gonna do is. We're gonna resize a little bit of the Malfoc itself so that you know we can have that effect that we want with the Malfoc without changing the perspective of the Malfoc but giving 
more uh, room of shaping into the trees. Which is important for us because, you know, the, the shapes of the trees will create the effect that is needed to give the leaves the effect to become real. That's how it works, I believe. So anyway, um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today. And uh, thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you a lovely day. And uh, bye!